Hey folks, Kip Adams from QDMA here. QDMA's Lindsay Thomas recently posted a great video showing a couple of bucks and talk about harvesting the best deer for your area. It was a super educational video, and I'm going to take that one step farther, show you a couple of deer here, and tell you exactly how you can accomplish what Lindsay was describing. Well, as you can see, we have two bucks. Biggest difference between these two is that this one's obviously a three pointer, and this one is a nine or a ten pointer. It's got five on its left side, and it's trying to grow that tenth one on its right side. But the uh, biggest difference, obviously, is the number of points. Some people may say it's in the trophy value of it, although I'll disagree. At QDMA, we like to measure success uh, in memories, not necessarily inches of antler. And this guy could absolutely be a tremendous trophy for a youth hunter or first-time hunter. So rather than uh, just taking a look at the number of points or antler score, there's far more to that for deer hunting. So biggest difference, sheer number of antler points. Biggest similarity between these two is age. These are both one and a half year old deer. First set of antlers for both of these. We can tell that by taking a look at the teeth, looking at the jawbone and the wear patterns and know these are both one and a half years old. So from a, an age perspective, following what Lindsay taught us about trying to shoot the best bucks for your area, if you can't really take a look at the number of points and try to figure out how old a deer is, what's a better way to do that? The answer to that is looking at body characteristics. Now, is there anything wrong with shooting a yearling deer? Absolutely not. There is nothing wrong with shooting some yearling bucks. The problem comes in with managers if we shoot the majority of yearling bucks. So at QDMA, we help teach people the value of moving deer into some older age classes, protecting at least the majority of yearling bucks each year, and then allowing to really see the benefits of being able to hunt a two or three or four or five year old buck. So uh, for more information on exactly how you can do that and to look at body characteristics and estimate age from that, check us out at QDMA.com. Here's to great hunting this fall.